Hi guys, it's Mystic Soul here. I am coming to you today with a spiritual public service announcement. I uh, Something happened to me <laughs> a few weeks ago and I just really been called uh, to give you guys a message about it. I hastily created an opportunity for myself about three weeks ago um, for something that was really vital for my business. It was vital for me as a reader and a, a psychic, a spiritual counselor, all that stuff. And it wasn't a huge monumentous thing, but it was really important. It was kind of a milestone for me to move forward in my work. And so I was talking to a client and I just sort of hastily was like, yes, I'll do it. And I won't say specifically what it was because it's really not relevant, but I agreed to do this thing, right? This thing that I know I needed to do, but I, I, I'd been putting it off because I was scared. Okay. But I was just like, yes, I'll do it. I hung up and within about five seconds <laughs> started to panic. And I mean, just buck wild. Like I was bent over. I was like trying not to have a panic attack. I couldn't breathe. And you guys may not know me that well yet, but this is like what I do. I just love like panicking and freaking out over things. But I think a lot of us do. And that's why I'm here to give this, this spiritual PSA. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to pull some cards for myself and see if I can calm myself down. And spirit was basically with every card I pulled, spirit was just like, you're freaking out right now and we're not talking to you which in hindsight was really the only answer that I deserved like I was out of control so then I call one of my best friends who's also a psychic and she's a life coach and I was like oh my god I need like you know can you do a reading for for me like I'm I'm about to just like blow up my career and ruin my life so thank goodness she had time for me and she's like sure so she gave me an amazing reading and one of the first things that she said to me was, you know, this is going to go well unless you decide to mess it up. If you decide to sabotage it, then you're going to have a problem. But as long as you don't conscientiously decide to mess this up, it's going to be fine. And she went on and she was starting to say something, but I could feel her hesitating. And it's like, you know, when you have a really good friend who kind of needs to give you a difficult message, but they don't want to like rip you a new one. I could sense her hesitating like that, but she went ahead and she said, it's kind of like, it's kind of like you have no excuse. You have no excuse not to do this thing. As a matter of fact, you have no excuse not to have already been doing this. <laughs> And as soon as she said that, I think she was hoping not to offend me. But as soon as she said that, I just burst out laughing because I knew that she was right. I knew that she was right. And I also knew that I would need to make a video about this and, and really give this message out to the collective. This message is for anyone watching this video. And keep in mind, I, I, I will say with all due respect, for those of you who have a goal of climbing Mount Everest, but you haven't even like attempted the rock climbing wall at your local gym. This message is not for you. <laughs> this message is for the people out there who've been doing the work. You've been doing the work. You've been practicing. You've been on your grind. You've, you've, let's say that you work in corporate and you've been putting yourself out there in meetings when your bosses ask for volunteers for a project. So you've been putting up your hand and you've been delivering and there's an opportunity for a promotion and you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready yet. What are you waiting for? For those of you who have a side hustle and you've been building clientele, you, ha you have a portfolio, you've given away tons of freebies in order to get the experience, you're ready to go pro. You're ready to start charging for your work. You're ready to make that career change. You're ready to start that new project. You've been thinking about, oh, should I go to school? Should I get that certification? I've been doing my research. I've been practicing. I think, oh, I don't know. You have, y'all have no excuse. You have no excuse because I'll tell you something. When the time came for me to do that thing that was just like terrorizing me, I was so scared. 
it could not have gone any better. It, it actually, it, it went really, really well. I did well. My client was so happy. And it really just, it, my, my friend's reading echoed in my mind. Like, I, I had no excuse because I had been doing the work. I had been doing the work and putting in the hours, putting in the effort. And I was afraid to step into who I am and who I was in that moment. Don't be afraid to step into who you are when you've been doing the work. You've been laying the foundation, you've been making it happen, and you're afraid to take that just, that little step. And that's the thing is that a lot of times they are little steps when we're working on something when we're trying to accomplish a goal whether it's spiritual or it's in the mundane it, you know i put that in quotes because everything that we do is important that's kind of what i'm getting at is that you know there are some huge leaps that we take that we're like okay this is major you know this is a big deal but a lot of times they're little steps they're little incremental steps that, that we take. But we have this fear because even though the step itself may be small, we still know that the impact could be massive. And so we hold ourselves back and we keep ourselves smaller. We stay attached to our old self, our prior self, who we were before we made this next, you know, before we took this next step. And so I really got kind of this, this message for me was really kind of a kick to the gut, but like I said, it didn't hurt so much as it made me laugh. And it just made me realize like, it's true. I've been making excuses, not because I know low key, I know I'm not re really prepared. No, I was afraid. I was afraid. And so I'm just here to tell you guys, you have no excuses. You have no excuses. Do that thing. Take that leap. You can do it. And many of you will do it. Why not? You really have nothing to lose. And I think that's something that, and that's why I want to give this message because I forget this too. I forget it too. You, I feel safer not taking certain risks or not making certain small steps that I know I have the intuitive sense to know or even the practical sense to know this could really have a big impact on who I want to be and my life going forward. So for those of you out there who have been putting in the work and have been afraid to take that next step, you have no excuses. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. Um, I'll be back soon and I hope you guys are doing well and yeah, I'll see you next time. No excuses.